Oh, bro, I'm so sick of this sexist industry. Which one? The movie industry? No, even more sexist than that. Oh, the sex work industry. Nah, man, way more sexist than that. The sexism industry? Even more sexist. Ah, video game journalism. Whoa, whoa, dude, no. There's literally nothing more sexist than the video game journalism industry. Let's pull it back a little bit. Bro, I give up. Just tell me. Man, the drug dealing industry. I read a whole article by Vice about it. It's time to bring equality and feminism to female drug dealers. Um, yeah, but, you know, there's, there's a lot of countries where women aren't allowed to vote, so there's other problems too. <laughs> Hey cunts, welcome to Lou Review, or if you're paying attention to YouTube's automatic captions, Get Egg Hunts. With Get Egg Hunt? Get Egg Hunts! That, again, that sounds much more like Get Egg Cunts than me actually saying Get Egg Cunts. So, Get Egg Hunts! Um, well done, YouTube captions. Yes, today I'm dressed like uh, either a cocaine dealer or someone who gets killed in the first five minutes of a John Wick film. So that's the outfit that I'm wearing. If you'd like to see more uh, photos of me wearing outfits that would make you cross the street if you saw me at night, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm almost at uh, 30,000 followers, so, you know, run those numbers up, man. Info below. You got Instagram, you know how it works. Anyway, Let's get into the fucking video. Today, with the help of a Vice article, we're gonna solve sexism. We're gonna destroy the wage gap. We're gonna close that shit. We're gonna crush the patriarchy. And we're gonna bring equality to the illegal drug trade industry. I mean, fuck, I think we're running out of industries to call sexist at this point, is if we've even gone past sex work and now we've made it to the illegal drug trade industry with female drug dealers experiencing discrimination in the workplace. Honey, you're dealing heroin, all right? You're not gonna get many benefits in that fucking trade. But, you know, I feel like if, if, this, is, if this is what Vice is writing about, we must have solved every other problem. Like, this is the last problem in the world, is that female drug dealers are being discriminated against a little bit. So let's get into the article and let's fix that shit up. Now, some people might think that solving sexism in the meth trade might seem like a bit of a trivial issue. Like, surely there are other problems we can focus on. And to those people, I say this. Captain Marvel made $800 million so far. Sexism is over. This is the last problem we have. So Vice has written an article. We're going to go into it and we're gonna fix sexism. So in this article Vice interviews six female drug dealers about the discrimination they face while dealing drugs to men. Now this might be a wild guess but I would say that if you're a drug dealer perhaps the reason why you're being discriminated against by the rest of the industry is not because of your pussy but because you're doing interviews with journalists. That's going to be the dumbest move ever for your local heroin dealer to just agree to do interviews with the fucking news. Hello? Yes, hello, Sarah. I uh, heard you're a meth dealer. Is that true? Me? A meth dealer? Nah. Oh, okay, that's strange. Look, I was just calling because I'm a journalist for Vice and I'm actually doing a story. We're trying to interview female drug dealers. Oh, an interview? In that case, yes. Yes, I am a meth dealer. Great. Well, I'm just out the front, so I'll see you in a second. What do you mean you're out the front? <laughs> Okay, let's get into the article itself. So it starts off with, We spoke with six women who sell drugs about industry sexism, illicitly trying to have it all, and knowing more about various chemicals than their male contemporaries. For fuck's sake, does knowing more about what's in the drugs than the drug addicts you're serving actually something to be proud of? It's like, what are you doing? Are you bragging when you're serving these dudes? Like, look, male oppressor, I, I do know that you think you know what's in this crack better than I do, but I actually know for a fact it's cut with heaps of glass and rat poison, so take that, patriarchy. Fuck, I think we're running out of industries to have sexist revolutions that overturn the patriarchy. What are we going to call this one? Meth 2? 
The female drug dealer is an elusive figure. About six years ago, I used to buy illicit substances from a dude in a small black Honda. I can't tell if this is the start of their article or the start of their resume for when they applied for Vice, because we all know you don't need a journalism degree to work for Vice. You just need like a, a Tumblr, three sexual orientations, and a crippling addiction to some kind of drug. Sometimes his girlfriend would be with him. As the hot, sticky summer mellowed to fall, she started answering the number and coming on her own. By spring, she'd obviously done well for herself, and the boyfriend's Honda was exchanged for her own Porsche. Still black. I was proud of her. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe her boyfriend's gone to jail and she has to continue selling drugs because if she stops and tries to leave the game, the Russian mafia will make her and her entire family disappear. Go for a long swim, if you know what I mean. Fuck. I mean, if there's one thing to be proud of a woman for, it's not for rising up, fighting against the patriarchy and contributing to society. It's just for some chick taking over a man's business and contributing to the opioid crisis. Fuck yeah, that's real feminism. And now they have an interview with one of the six female drug dealers and it starts off with the vice person asking, uh, tell me about yourself. What made you want to start dealing? And she goes, I began life in the drug game at the age of 19, after working multiple jobs and finding a dead end at all of them, so after being a really shit employee, I decided to start committing crimes. Uh, I was sick of seeing all of the money from me and my co-workers being funneled straight to the top. So... A business. <laughs> and... <laughs> like, this chick is acting like when she sells drugs, she's cutting in all of her fucking employees. No, dude! She's just out there destroying lives of all the people who use her shit, and then she's like, yeah, fuck that, I'm fighting against capitalism. Good on you, man. And of the regular workers never seeing any benefits of their hard work. I mean, fuck, it sounds like this girl was either gonna start dealing drugs or begin a communist revolution. And let's be honest, either way, she would have ended up in a Vice article, so good on it. What were the challenges about selling to men? Uh, when selling to males, things get quite annoying. They would often try to hit on me in exchange for free drugs or discounts, which is ridiculous because obviously I have way more money than they do and I don't have to be desperate. You know what? I agree with this woman 100%. I think there's definitely an appropriate time to hit on a woman to give you and her the best chance at a good relationship. And I would say that when you're buying six Xanax that you're about to shove inside your own asshole, Probably not one of those times. Uh, hey. Wait, has anyone ever told you that you've got really pretty eyes? Also, has, has anyone ever told you that uh, I, I think I took too much and I'm gonna die? Right, I'm gonna continue on with the article. There's a bit more to go, but first I need to do some dealing of my own. This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. These guys are awesome. They've stepped up and sponsored the channel in times of hardship where everything I do gets demonetized. So these guys are awesome. Ridge Wallet is a slim, form-fitting, front pocket carry wallet. So you don't have to look like a dickhead when you go out and you've got this massive tumor looking lump in your front pocket in every photo. Just take this out, it's a card wallet. You just put your ID and one card in there. That's all you need when you're going out. You don't have to carry your giant ugly wallet that you got when you were 10 years old. And the only reason you have it is because it hasn't fallen apart yet. Get yourself a Ridge Wallet. Uh, go to ridgewallet.com slash Lou. Use code Lou for 10% off and free worldwide shipping. That's amazing. I don't even do free worldwide shipping. So check out Ridge Wallet. Thanks to them for sponsoring the video. Info is below. Let's get back into it. All right, I think I'm going to just put this here for now. Uh, on with the article. This is the part where they really try and prove that sexism in the drug trade is real and uh, <laughs> I don't think they pulled it off. They asked one of the girls, do you think it's harder for women than men to sell? And she says, I don't think it's necessarily harder for women to sell than men, although I have had more men deal to me than women. If people want drugs, they don't care about your gender as long as you get them drugs. And I really do think that's true, because if I'm strung out on ice, and a gender fluid unicorn with pink hair and a front fringe comes up to me with some ice, I'm not gonna debate her on social issues, I'm just gonna buy some ice. Just had a thought, 
I don't think there's as much oppression and sexism in the illegal drug trade industry as Vice wants there to be for their article, you know? There doesn't seem to be much of a patriarchy, it's just drug users buying from drug dealers. And let's be honest, anyway, if you get oppressed by a meth head, you probably don't deserve equality. Have any customers ever hit on you or acted sketchy? Customers really haven't acted sketchy towards me because they know I have their drugs and wouldn't want to not receive them. Yeah, this dealer is definitely not giving Vice the article they want. Like, they're really trying to be like, six women talk about the struggles of fighting the patriarchy in the illegal drug trade. And then all of the women are kind of just going, yeah, no, it's pretty, pretty sweet gig. I mean, it's tax free. Uh, I, I sell the drugs and uh, then the people who use the drugs buy the drugs and uh, it's a bit of a fair transaction really. Just kind of commerce. Like, like, you know Vice wants all of the drug dealers to say this is what happens every time they try and sell something. Yeah, look, I know, uh, I know you want me to pay a hundred dollars for that heroin, but um, I've just noticed that you have a vagina, so I'm only going to pay seventy dollars. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and stick around if you enjoyed. I've got a bi-monthly bull coming out in two days from now, so stay around. Also, follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. I'm almost at 30,000 people and I'd love to crack that this week, so check me out there. Lou Spears is where you gotta go to fucking, I don't know what I'm saying, but follow me, alright? Oh, and I'm getting a lot of people asking me when I'm touring, when I'm doing shows. The best way to find out when and where I'm doing shows is by going on Lou Spears com slash gig list. Put your city in there and your email and I will send you a message when I'm on the way and that's the only time you'll hear from me. The gig list is the best way to find out about shows. Sign up now because I've got a tour coming up at the end of the year. These people find out about them first and uh, with the channel growing at the rate that it is now, uh, I think we've booked a tour that's far too small, so you want to be on there. Um, Alright, that's the end of the video. I'll see you later. Um, also, so, so terribly sorry to all of the uh, female drug dealers I oppressed by making this. You really are fighting for equality in a world that needs it, so kudos to you fucking super soldiers. I'll see you soon. Catch you later.